Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and creating, stick around. I'm pretty sure we'll talk about something you like eventually. This is an episode of Coffee with Kim, and I'm very happy to have you here. It's Wednesday. Wow, what's my hair doing? So, you know me. Normally, my videos are always happy, upbeat. I don't complain about anything. But I'm having one of those mornings. Did you ever have a day where you fight with inanimate objects and they win? <laughs> I'm just saying. So, I get up. I don't know, 3.30, 4 o'clock. My brain starts going, so I'm like, okay, we're up. Let's go. So I need a cup of coffee, right? So every morning when I get up, I have two cats, and one of them is very vocal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And all he does is rah, 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 until I feed him. Now, sorry, that was bugging me. Mind you, they have dry food out all night long. I pick it up in the morning because I don't want Fritz eating it, but they have dry food out all day long, but they know in, or all night long, but they know that in the morning, in the morning they get, they each get a little can of wet food. So until I get that wet food for them, my one little boy, little, not so little, probably 22 pounds, Willie, he screams, rah, rah, rah. Okay, keep in mind, just woke up, haven't had coffee yet. It's three in the morning, somewhere between three and four, and he's screaming at me. So I'm like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so I feed them. Then, okay, I feed Fritz, and now it's time to make myself a cup of coffee, and we have one of those little Keurig machines. Well, Mr. Fortunate likes his hazelnut, and I like my southern pecan. I don't care for hazelnut. The only hazelnut I like is like that, what is that peanut butter spread? Can't think of the name of it, but anyway, that's peanut butter, hazelnut, whatever. So I put my coffee cup under the little thing. In the meantime, I don't know what I was doing. I was looking at the, oh yeah, I was making sure Fritz wasn't eating the cat food because he likes to. So I'm monitoring the pet action. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, so I go through the motions. You put in the creamer. You put in your my little, I have one little sweetener. Water's running, da-da-da-da. Of course, the water was empty. I had to fill the water. Okay. So finally, the sound of success. The coffee is brewing. And I look at it as it's brewing. I'm like, wow, that's awfully light. I must have, because it was a new creamer. And it pours out really fast. So I'm like, well, I must have just been heavy handed. So I grab my coffee. I come in here to my craft room. I've got some things to do. I'm putting stuff on Marketplace, this and that. And I'm like, I'm drinking my coffee. And I'm like, wow, this tastes like, oh my goodness, sorry. I said, this tastes like a, uh, a cup of warm cream. It was really, I didn't taste hazelnut. I just, I tasted warm cream. I didn't taste any flavor. So anyway, Mr. Fortunate gets up. I, I make his coffee in the morning and I open up the coffee maker and he, he only has one cup a day. So if there's a hazelnut K cup in there, I know it's from the previous day. So what I had done is I had put my cup under there, put in the cream, put in the sugar and hit brew and I brewed his K cup from yesterday morning into my cup. <laughs> so literally I was drinking a cup of warm water with cream in it. So, okay, fast forward to that. So I make my f real coffee and now I, I, all, I have my um, iPad. It's, it's on an arm, like it, it, you know, it's on an arm. And the arm was loosening. So it kept drooping when I was trying to adjust it. Well, it came with one of those Allen wrenches that fit 
specific. Well, of course I can't find that. I found every Allen wrench. What I like to do is if something needs an Allen wrench, either under it or somewhere near it, I'll tape that Allen wrench on so you always have the one you need. So I, I can't find it. So I'm like, all right, now let me get a prop for you. I want to show you. I have this little handy dandy packet of things you need, which I can't open. There we go. Things you need for your little drill. Okay. Okay. Can't open it. Whatever. So anyway, I have been moving this thing from place to place to place in here because I'm like, well, I don't really use the drill that much. So I don't really need those in here. Sorry, now this is personal. There we go. Okay, still fighting with inanimate objects. So I'm like, okay, this has everything I need in here. I bet you it'll have a top that'll fit in the Allen wrench. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking in drawers, I'm looking on shelves, I'm looking everywhere I can think of where the heck is this thing? Well, I put it somewhere safe in case I needed it. I finally, 25 minutes later, I found it tucked under in the back. So here I have it. Okay, we're good. I found the size I needed, put it in, check it. I'm like, yes, it fits, it's perfect. Well, I don't wanna take apart my drill, of course. So I use my pliers. It's as tight as it's gonna go. So after all that, it won't get any tighter. <laughs> so it's been a morning, let me just tell you. So I figured I'd just get on here and tell you all about it. Holy moly. So one more thing, I gotta tell you. <laughs> um, I, I gotta tell you one more frustrating and then I'll get on to fun stuff I promise so I just signed up I have my mortgage with a bank and then I signed up for a new checking account for with that bank so I could use it for anything I do with this any you know any bank account needs I'll have a separate bank account just for fortunate creations and fortunate finds so I set it up great I get my account number and I get my routing number. I'm like, awesome. So I go into PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. I delete the accounts that I have in there linked because you know you link it so the payments go right in. I delete those. I set up the new account, routing number, account number, good to go, boom, yay. I transfer funds. And I don't pay the fee for the immediate. I pay, I, it's one to three days and you know, there's no charge. So, <laughs> so here we go. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, it's not millions of dollars, but it, I wanna see if it works. Three days later, it says it's complete. I look in the new account, there's nothing. I'm like, huh? So I reach out to, I think it was PayPal. And I said, it says the transfer is complete. I don't see it in my bank. And their answer was, well, it's gotta be on your bank's end. Um, sometimes banks take longer to verify. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> no. So I checked the other two apps and it's still not working. I said, okay, something's up. And then, then, then the very last one, Venmo says, call your financial institution. So I did. Well, there's a hold on my account until I go into a branch and bring a copy of my license. Why be able to set up an account online if you have to go into a branch to bring your license? Just a thought. Okie doke. So there's a branch up the road that I didn't know was there. So I, huh, I was still in my pajamas. My fault. So I slid boots on. Slid one of my creations on. And I'm going up the hill. Now I got Fritz with me because I'm trying to get him happier in the car. So I pull up to the drive-thru and the woman was sweet. How are you? Oh, beautiful dog. Da, da, da. She wanted to give him a cookie. He won't eat it. So I told her not to. Um, 
So I said to her the whole thing. I said I had it set up on my, you know, online thing, online pay, pal, Venmo, and Cash App. I said, but it says I needed to call you. So I called you, and they said I need to bring to a local branch. And they gave me this branch. And she looks at me like a deer in the headlights. And I was like, what, um, do you need me to, you know, what, here's my license. I don't. And she's like, um, we have nothing to do with online banking. And I'm like, no, that's not. I said, take that part out of it. I said, I opened a new account and customer service on the 800 number said to me that I need to bring you a copy of my license. So she's okay, just a minute. And off she goes. Bye. There she goes. <laughs> so I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. At this point, there's nobody behind me. I'm like, right, whatever. You know, Fritz is all digga, 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 what's going on in there. And he's having fun. So I was fine. Well, then all of a sudden a car pulls up behind me and a car pulls up behind him. It's been about seven minutes. She's nowhere to be found. So I see other people in the bank and I wave them down. I'm like, come here. So I said to them, I said, I'm going to loop around the building so these people behind me can come up and you guys can take care of them. And I'll just get in line behind them. Oh my goodness, that's the nicest thing. Okay. I just need to, okay. So I pull out around the building. Those two go in front of me. So now I'm waiting for them. Probably another 10 minutes. So now we're at 17 minutes. Ish. I get back up to the window. She's still nowhere to be seen. The lady that I said I was pulling around waves at me. I'm like, hi, it's good. So 22 minutes. And yes, I counted 22 minutes. And um, she comes to the window, still the sweetest person. I called who I needed to call. <laughs> okay. And the lock is released from your account. You're all set. All right. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your help. Off I go. It's still not working. So that was a no, that was actually the whole end of yesterday. I spent about, and I'm not kidding, about two and a half hours going through the whole thing. Click the button, verify with the email and the code goes to your phone and you da 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 da. Okay, linking the account, linking the account. Something went wrong. We can't do it. Try later. So the definition of crazy is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. So that's what I did. Anyway, still not linked. So I have to wait for the banks to open because you can't call PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. There are no humans available that I've found so far. Um, I've only to the chat bot. Chat bot. I it said how can I help you and I wrote human, and it wrote back, no representatives are available till 5 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. So I have to wait to see if I can talk to a human then. And I have to call m and Bank. Oh, I have to call the bank back. I didn't want to say the bank because uh, they're still a good bank. It's just, it was, it's a whole process. Um, so anyway, <laughs> there has been, <laughs> there's been my frustration with, um, yeah, I'm fighting with inanimate objects and uh, chat bots and I'm losing. But enough of that. Check this out. So I took Crystal from Bagaday. I took her pattern for the pebble stitch. Okay. Now her pattern for the pebble stitch, I'll show you. She does the pebbles close and a little bit catty corner. Okay. See how that goes? Well, I wanted to make a, a blanket. So I'm like, well, I don't want to use so much yarn. 
So what I'm doing is I altered it a little bit. So I've got, there we go. I've got the, uh, what does she call these? Please hold. <laughs> the puff. She's got the puff. Okay, so I did the base chain and then I did a puff row. And then on her pattern, she does one row of single crochet and then goes right back into the puff row. So what I said was, I'm going to do one row of single, one row of half double, another row of single, and then I'll put another puff. So there it is. It's going to be, that's going to be my blanket. How fun is that? And it is so soft, so soft. So um, I'm not quite sure how big I'm going to make it. I was going to make it a crib blanket for the baby, but I'm getting so many, I think I ordered six more skeins of that yarn. So the blanket's going to be however big it is when I run out of yarn. Um, now here's my question to you. What would you do for a border? I was thinking white or off white and doing like the, uh, the puffs all the way. Tell me what you think. So a border of white puffs. I think it'd be pretty to break it up a little bit. So it's not just all the blue, but anyway, so that's what I've been working on when I'm not fighting with things that are fighting back and winning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fun times. Boy. Oh, so today, what am I up to today? I'm going to work more on that. I want to play with my Addy more. So my sister-in-law, um, when we sit by the campfire, she's always bundled, bundled. She wears blanket. So I think I'm going to make her one of those capes. I might make it a little longer for her so that, um, cause we camp, I mean, as soon as we can get our campers up there at the farm where I grew up, as soon as we can get there, I'm going to write the time down and I'm going to put, I'm going to put a picture of us camping so you can see it. So, but we do it from, I mean, cold, hot, cold. <laughs> so, I mean, we've, we've camped into October before. So we have our heaters and we have our air conditioners. I mean, we're not camping, we're glamping. Sorry, I was looking at the time. Um, so um, I think she'll like that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make one for her, one for my sister, one for my niece. And um, I'll just keep them in the camper. And when we're sitting out around the fire and somebody gets chilly, I'll just run in and grab them one. So I have to decide. My sister Linda will get the green. My sister-in-law Renee will get, where is it, red. And my niece will get in the blues. So we'll do that. And I have mine. So, oh boy, <laughs> I'm exhausted just recapping everything I went through. <laughs> so we've got four, 36 days until the baby's due. Really excited. Um, it's just a whole change of everything. Like my daughter's not just going to be my daughter anymore. She's going to be a mom. And I can't wait to see that transition in her. I mean, yeah, it's going to be crazy, but so I'm hoping, sorry, flashback to my yarn. Um, I'm hoping my Michael's order comes today because my yarn is in it. And plus, um, I point over there, like you can see, um, the transferable ink for my mug press is there. So I want to play with that thing so bad. And I do still have um, my sewing machine I haven't touched yet. I put it down there. I really wish I could do counter space so that all my stuff could just be out 
and I can use it, just like turn it on and use it without bring it out, set it up, da 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 dee dee dee. Um, but I just don't have the room. So that's not an option. But all right, well, we're 20 minutes in. That's a darn good cup of coffee right there. I'm really happy you joined me. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you all for the congratulations on hitting 700. <laughs> all I need to do now is get my views up, my, my view time up. I'm working on that as well. Um, so if you don't, you know, if you don't have time to sit and listen to me, run me in the background. Just listen all the way through. Okay. That's the important part is when you start a video, if you go all the way through, that does something to my analytics. So I'm also going to put up some more funny animal shorts. Um, I've got some good ones. Check out, um, if I haven't put it up yet, I will put it up. I have a picture of Mr. Fortunate and I were on the boat and this eagle zoomed right by us. It was like, I mean, it felt like you could reach out and touch him. So it was a, an amazing video. So I'll get that put up. All right. Well, let's get our Wednesday started. All right. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please share, um, give me some comments. And I would say nice comments, but you guys are always nice. Thank you so much. Check out my other playlists. I keep adding stuff every day. I'm going to do an homage to Crystal next. So you will see the same shirt. Sorry. <laughs> but have a wonderful day. Be creative. I'll see you tomorrow.